Feeling tired all the time? Struggling to focus? Losing your motivation? Or just not feeling like yourself lately? What if I told you the answer might be something you've completely overlooked? A simple vitamin hiding in plain sight that could recharge your mind, body, and even slow down aging? Vitamin B12. It's not just about energy, it's about longevity, brain power, and feeling truly alive. In this video, we're diving into the surprising benefits of taking B12 daily. And trust me, by the end, you'll be checking your own levels. Let's go. So what exactly is vitamin B12 and why does it matter so much? Vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin, is one of the most important nutrients your body needs. But here's the twist. Your body can't make it on its own. You have to get it from your diet or supplements. Think of it like the spark plug in your car. Without it, everything slows down. Your energy, your brain, your mood. B12 keeps your nervous system firing, helps your body create DNA, and builds the red blood cells that carry oxygen around your body. That's the kind of multitasking we need in a vitamin. You'll mostly find B12 in animal products like meat, eggs, dairy, and fish. That's great if you're a steak and eggs kind of person, but if you're vegan, vegetarian, or just cutting back on animal products, you might be missing out and your body will let you know. Spoiler alert, it's not subtle. In the next section, we'll break down exactly what happens when you're not getting enough B12 and why catching it early could literally add years to your life. All right, so we know B12 is important, but how important? Let's just say, without it, your body starts to fall apart in slow motion. First up, energy. B12 helps convert the food you eat into usable fuel. No B12? Your body's energy factory runs low and you're left feeling like a phone on 2% battery. All the time. Next, your nervous system. B12 helps maintain the protective coating around your nerves, kind of like the insulation on electrical wires. Without it, signals misfire, and you get that weird tingling, numbness, or brain fog. B12 is also your blood's best friend. It's essential for producing red blood cells, which means more oxygen circulating, more stamina, better performance. No B12? You get fewer blood cells, less oxygen, and you start feeling like you've been hit by a truck. And here's the kicker. B12 is crucial for making and repairing DNA. Yes, the stuff that literally keeps you alive. That's why some scientists believe low B12 might speed up aging and increase disease risk. B12 isn't just some bonus nutrient, it's fundamental to energy, to clarity, to longevity. And here's where things get scary. Most people don't even know they're low. So what happens when your B12 runs out? Let's find out. So how do you know if your B12 is low? Well, your body actually tries to tell you, it just doesn't always speak clearly. Let's start with the big one, fatigue. Not I didn't sleep enough tired, but a kind of deep, heavy, my body feels like it's moving through molasses tired. This is your body running low on red blood cells and oxygen. Then there's brain fog, forgetting appointments, losing your train of thought mid-sentence, walking into a room and thinking, why am I here again? Yeah, that's B12 messing with your mind. Low B12 has also been linked to anxiety, irritability, even depression. Why? Because B12 helps make serotonin and dopamine, those feel-good brain chemicals. And if you're getting tingles, numbness in your hands and feet, or weird muscle weakness, that's your nervous system waving a red flag. Here's the dangerous part. B12 deficiency symptoms creep up slowly. You might just think you're tired, stressed, or getting older. But left untreated, it can lead to permanent nerve damage and cognitive decline. Up next, who's most at risk of B12 deficiency? Here's where things get real. You might think, I eat well, I'm probably fine. But B12 deficiency isn't just something that happens to other people. There are entire groups of us walking around low on B12, and we don't even know it. First up, vegans and vegetarians. Because B12 is found naturally only in animal products, people who avoid meat, dairy, or eggs are at serious risk, unless they're supplementing. Next, folks over 50. As we age, our stomach produces less of something called intrinsic factor, a protein needed to absorb B12. Translation? Even if you're eating enough, your body might not be absorbing it. Also, if you have Crohn's, celiac, IBS, or have had bariatric surgery, your gut may struggle to absorb B12. That's like pouring gas into a car. But the tank is leaking. And here's the shocker. Even common meds like acid reflux drugs or metformin for diabetes can interfere with B12 absorption. If you're in any of these groups, this isn't just useful info. 
it could be essential to your long-term health. Coming up, how B12 could help you live longer and the science to back it up. Let's zoom out for a second. We're not just talking about more energy or sharper memory, we're talking about adding years to your life. Because when it comes to longevity, vitamin B12 is quietly playing a starring role. First, brain health. Studies have found that people with healthy B12 levels tend to have better memory, stronger focus, and lower risk of cognitive decline, especially as they age. One reason? B12 helps produce myelin, the protective coating around your brain and nerve cells. Less myelin equals slower processing, weaker memory, more brain fog. What about heart health? B12 also helps regulate a substance in your blood called homocysteine. High homocysteine levels are linked to heart disease, stroke, and dementia. But B12, it keeps those levels in check. And this one's huge. B12 plays a role in repairing your DNA. That means healthier cells, fewer mutations, and a lower risk of age-related diseases, including some cancers. So while everyone's chasing anti-aging creams and miracle pills, B12 is sitting right there in your supplement drawer, quietly supporting your brain, heart, and cells day after day. Coming up next, how to actually take B12, the best forms, doses, and when to consider a supplement. So let's talk about the big question. Should you be taking a B12 supplement? And if so, how do you know? Here's the deal. Research shows that B12 deficiency is more common than people think especially in people over 50, vegans, vegetarians, and those with digestive conditions like Crohn's, celiac, or low stomach acid. And because the symptoms build slowly, many people don't realize they're deficient until it becomes serious. The only real way to know for sure? Get a blood test. Ask your doctor to check your B12 levels. Optimal levels typically sit between 400 and 900 picograms per milliliter. Below 300, you're likely deficient. Below 200, that's a red flag. If you're in the low or borderline range or you're experiencing symptoms, many doctors will recommend supplementation. And honestly, even if you're not technically deficient but fall on the lower end, some experts believe it's worth supplementing anyway, especially if you're in a high-risk group. Now, what kind of supplement should you take? There are two main forms, cyanocobalamin, a stable, synthetic version. It's the most common and generally works well for most people. And methylcobalamin, the natural form, more easily absorbed, especially if you have gut issues or certain genetic variants. You'll find B12 in tablets, gummies, sprays, and even patches. Sublingual tablets, the ones you dissolve under your tongue, are great if you have trouble absorbing nutrients through your gut. In more severe cases, or for people with absorption disorders, doctors may prescribe B12 injections, which bypass the gut entirely and deliver the vitamins straight into your bloodstream. How much should you take? The standard recommended daily amount for adults is about 2.4 micrograms, but most supplements contain far more and that's okay. Your body will absorb what it needs and flush the rest. B12 is water soluble and considered very safe. Still, don't go overboard. Check in with your doctor, especially if you're pregnant, on medication, or managing a chronic condition. Sometimes the science is powerful, but it's the stories that really hit home because nothing connects more than seeing real people reclaiming their energy, focus, and quality of life, all thanks to one simple change. I used to wake up every morning exhausted. Uh, I thought it was just burnout or getting older. Then I got my B12 levels tested. They were really low. A few weeks after starting a supplement, I felt like I had my brain back. I wasn't just surviving the day. Kind of, you know, I was living it. My doctor thought I had early dementia. Turns out I had a B12 deficiency. After a few B12 injections, my memory improved, and I could actually hold conversations again without getting lost halfway through. Stories like these aren't rare. In fact, thousands of people report huge improvements in energy, mood, and focus once they address their B12 levels, especially when they didn't even know they were low to begin with. And the best part? B12 isn't some miracle drug or hypey biohack. It's something your body already needs, and when it's there in the right amount, it quietly powers the systems that keep you thriving. Next up, five quick tips you can start today to protect your levels and support your long-term health. All right, if you've made it this far, here's the good news. Taking control of your B12 levels is simple, powerful, and totally doable. Here are five quick actions you can take starting today. Tip number one, ask your doctor for a B12 blood test. It's quick, 
easy, and the only way to know your baseline. Even if you feel fine, knowing your number now could save you a ton of problems later. Tip number two. If you're vegan, vegetarian, over 50, or taking certain medications, you're at higher risk. Don't wait for symptoms to show up. Get proactive. Tip number three. If you eat animal products, focus on B12-rich foods like eggs, fish, dairy, and red meat. If you don't, look for fortified cereals, plant-based milks, or, you guessed it, supplements. Tip number four. Choose a daily B12 supplement that works for you. Methylcobalamin is often easier to absorb. Sublingual tablets and sprays are great for bypassing gut issues. And finally, tip number five, listen to your body. If you're feeling foggy, tired, or off, B12 could be the missing link. Don't ignore the whispers before they become screams. Take these steps and you're not just improving how you feel today. You're investing in a sharper, longer, more vibrant life. So what did we learn? Vitamin B12 isn't just a side character in your health story, it's a main player. From sharper focus and balanced mood to a stronger heart and longer life, B12 touches every part of how you function, age, and feel. And the best part, it's totally within your control. A simple test, a smart supplement, a few small changes, and the impact could be life-changing. If this video made you think twice about your own health, good. That's what we're here for. If you learned something new today, go ahead and hit that like button. It helps us reach more people who need this info. Subscribe for more science-backed real-life tips to help you live longer and feel better. And don't forget to drop a comment. Have you ever experienced B12 deficiency? Or are you thinking about supplementing now? Let's talk about it below. Until next time, stay sharp, stay curious, and take care of that incredible body of yours.